Hey, guys, Max here. So, we got probably the biggest update in Madden history. Like, the amount of things they changed in this one, it's like essentially launching a new game. And, and, like, there's more changes here than we get sometimes year over year, it feels like. So, we're going to go through it. It's kind of a, uh, a, a big one, we'll say. And, uh, you know, introduction, there's gameplay, there's yard, there's franchise, entirely new features and franchise. I wish the Muck crowd got some more uh, of that franchise love and new features and stuff like we used to, but we lost Jake Stein to the greener pastures of overall the gameplay. I don't know. Anyways, key highlights, scouting mode and franchise, rank mode in the yard, gameplay abilities, tuning updated pet. This is where we're going to spend most of our time on gameplay abilities. Is these ones are... Uh, kind of just like you know briefly to overview them um authenticity updates i don't care right do you think i wake up put on this face and say i care about the way things look no no i, I really don't care gameplay updates new abilities okay new abilities are major letdowns do not have high hopes right here i'll, I'll set your bar low these things don't look really innovative or interesting either runoff elite players with the ability to distract the finisher longer with their runoff okay don't love the buff to the run game but then they had on the ball, plus the ability are much less likely to be fooled by wide receiver runoffs. I, I I guess I don't hate balance by direct counters, right? Like you see this stuff in like Magic the Gathering. Like if they think they might have a card that's too powerful, they just direct a, uh, they'll print a card alongside it that specifically targets it. Um, you know, the big game hunter in Hearthstone back in the day. Uh, that kind of balancing. Balance by direct counters. Precision kicker. Kickers with this ability can see the entirety of the kicking art. That's awful. It's bad. <laughs> Uh, when they have, like, the best kicking ability of all time uh, still in there, which is the, uh, uh, not clutch, the other one. The slow kick meter one. Crusher. Defenders with ability will cause heavy fatigue penalties for tackling a ball carrier with hit stick. Isn't this just deflator? Like, what is this? Heavy fatigue penalties when tackling a ball carrier with a hit stick tackle. I, what? Why are they redoing deflator? I, I don't get it. They just want to give it a new name, too? What if you stack Crusher and deflator on a guy? Is that going to, like, basically knock them out of this game and the next few games? They're going to be, like, heavily fatigued. They're going to get, like, a, a mile-high sickness. They're gonna, they're, you're going to give them the bends. There it is. It's not going to be, like, playing at mile-high. It's going to be, like, you're going to give the opponents running back the bends. <laughs> Sorry, you got to dip that running back into 100 feet of water and bring it back up slowly. Demoralizer. Defenders with this ability will clear a ball carrier's progress towards entering the zone with a hit-stick tackle awful x factors themselves are uh, not powerful enough to, to worry about spending ap they did talk about an ap update coming to mutt uh later on so that's definitely gonna happen it's gonna have to uh, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second with another uh, ability that they patched mind reader x factor defense to see offense play is, don't we already have this this is called film study um it's not in it's not in mutt right now um it, it's three sit sticks in simulation arcade and five hit sticks in competitive um you will be able to view your opponent's play art they're just repackaging x factors already in the game why would you do this do they not know like new things they can do i think i did a video on like you know potential new abilities that they could have a while back or i put it inside a video i little little disappointed by those abilities of those are the ones that they're giving us uh, a couple repackaged ones and a few ones that are truly truly not very uh i would say innovative and smart and change the game at all hook zones fix an issue causing the mid read defender and tampa 2 to drift to the wrong direction versus trips i was so pissed i had no idea what mid reads were mid reads are doing for the longest times they'd always go to the two receiver side when they're supposed to read like trips um so i'm glad that they fixed it uh made the mid reads opening with the vertical by number three all right that's very cool we can actually we can actually show this on the field if you want just call like a, a, a tampa 2 and then I'll, uh, I guess we'll go to trips and let's we'll go four verticals. And then you can see it, uh, uh, mid read is the middle. Here, I'll show it to you. This control is broken, so I don't want to move anything. Mid read is the middle linebacker. You see how it says mid read? Watch him and watch the way he opens. So now he's open into the trip side, which is how you should do. Uh, basically, ended up covering nobody still, right? That mid read defender, the it's kind of like what uh, the Brian Erlacher job was to cover the deep middle in a cover two. And if you're just going to get outran, right? Like, because he's shuffling here. If you're just going to get outran, you're essentially useless, right? Okay, well, I should have passed let it better. Okay. Now I'm, now I'm made into a fool. Uh, but if you're going to get outran, I mean, especially, like, by just a straight vertical, you ain't doing the job anyways. They got to stop these guys shuffling so much when they're dropping into zones. If there's, So, otherwise, 
people are just going to end up putting these guys into deep thirds. So it's unfortunate that mid reads don't actually play like they should play. Uh, but, uh, you know, that's the game we play. It, they still have some uh, tuning there to do. All right, next up. Curl flat zones. Improve curl flat zone logic so they would prioritize outbreaking routes instead of shading under verticals. Also improve some logic so curl flats and quarter flats won't chuck outbreaking routes that were causing them to give up any leverage they have to cover the sidelines. I tested this a few times with different routes. I, I couldn't figure out what they're talking about. Prioritize outbreaking routes instead of shading under verticals. Okay, so they're going to prioritize outbreaking routes. Let's, let's go over Let's put a curl flat on the field. Let's go to cover three. Um, and, uh, let's just, let's just run it straight out of vertical since I have Tom Brady can manipulate any route or put any route. All right. Cover three buzz. So we got our nickel to that side. All right. So they want to prioritize outbreaking routes, right? So let's throw a corner to Godwin. He got jam. Okay. Well, I think it's maybe because he was on a, a shallow thing. Let's try it. Like, uh, let's try streaking, streaking, and then a corner route and see how this plays it now. All right, didn't get a jam. Kind of got like a weird jam on him. All right, that played a little bit better. That definitely played a little bit better um, for the corner route, for the outbreaking route. It like didn't get a jam, but it did. All right, another outbreaking route. Let's try this. Uh, let's see if he gets a jam or if he goes plays the sidelines. He did get a jam. And the sideline was wide open. And he and the sideline stayed wide open. He didn't he didn't run over the sidelines in his in his uh, purple zone. Okay, well, I'll show, you, I'll show you it on defense. There, curl flat. That's what he's in. Um, what about, like, what about something like this? This this kind of concept. What is he going to do here? Play it, sink back, and then he goes to the flat route. He covered nobody there. So the purple route kind of split the two and covered nobody. He was a little wider than purple routes generally are, but I feel like they should look for route. Look, look for work, right? If you're on a stock cover th purple route... It looks like he's on like a 10 yard, 10 yard zone drop almost. He's not down or up. And so it's still kind of like a traffic cone. But he is he is playing the sidelines much more aggressively than they were pre-patch. Pre-patch, they'd be a little bit closer in here. So it's 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 changed a little bit, it feels like. Um, but still they don't really look for work. There's still traffic cones out there. They don't they're not really like intelligence to where the or intelligent to where the receivers are going so much um like if there was if, if if the defense put zone drops on that'd been perfectly fine logic but the zone drop they, we don't have zone drops in practice mode for some reason um so you can't okay um so curl flats are still shaky i'd say shaky at best flat zones all right this is this is this is nice improve cloud flat zone especially the, the hard flat stuff um uh, better carry vertical routes to protect the fade and improve Facing direction immediately following the truck. Chuck. All right. So, um, Tampa 2. Tampa 2. And it's following all right, following the chuck. All right. So, it's going to vertical route to protect the fade. Let's see what it does against the fade. Yeah. That carries it a lot better. It's not perfect, obviously. But that carries it to an extreme degree. Now, let's try it. Let's try it with a Zoot Suit Riot. Same thing. Cloud Flats. Let's see what happens when we have a flat route out there. If it gets sucked down early or not. Nah, Cloud Flat really carries it a distance. You can still fit that in there, but it's a much tighter throw than it used to be. The thing is, you have to have no zone drops on for that to work that way. right? Zone drops will screw up chucks. But overall, a stock Cloud Flat looking a little bit better. I do want to go... All right, let's try this again. Let's do... Uh, not that. Let's put him on a soft squat now. So now you see on that left side, he's in a soft squat. Let's see how the soft squat plays with four verticals. All right? This soft squat does exactly what it's supposed to do. It carries it. So you guys don't know soft squats are man-match type of zones. Of course, unless you have zone drops on. Um, and he carried him up the sidelines. Okay? Very cool um that it's that it's kind of playing that way a little better they talk about they talk about this right here um fixing issues so cover two sinks soft squat defenders could better shade receivers in the flat all right so now it's the flat route so soft squats we know if everybody's going vertical it carries vertical okay again as long as you don't have as, as long as you don't have soft squats on all right so let me let me show you what it looks like 
What the heck? Oh, wrong side of the ball. Wait. Triangle. Square. Soft squat. All right, here we go. Soft squat. Now, let's see the soft squat. Same setup as before, but let's throw somebody on a flat. All right? And now, he plays it so much quicker. You see that? That's what I'm talking about with the flat. So, like, the offense can adjust and beat back the soft squat from taking its match coverage. So, basically... If you got a soft squat out there, if the offense sees it and they run four verticals, soft squat's going to match. But if they run the flat route behind it, soft squat's going to go and play the flat. That's just the, the rules of the game, right? The soft squat will play the flat because, you know, it's a, it's a you know, flat zone over there. So that's some of the intelligence that they put into the game there with cover two sync. Fix an issue preventing hard flat defenders from covering inside receivers and tight ends and bunch and close formations running flat routes and flat portion of wheel routes. All right, this is huge, right? The reason why bunch was so good, let's 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 choose a bunch play, was because you can just instant throw your tight end, your flat route, and get under people even when they had uh, this kind of shit. All right, so let's let's do Pat's curl flat, Pat's curl flat, and we'll do Tampa two, and we'll shade underneath so that way it's hard flat. See how it's hard flats now before the hard flat would let this guy catch the ball and then tackle him for a couple yards now let's watch how the tight end plays do you see how he's absolutely boxed now the difference is they've also changed hook zones it looks like to once you shade underneath they actually shade underneath now so there's an unmentioned patch change to hook zones that also has them play this hard flat too before passing off and then going back to this route so Hook zones not in there, but these things did not play this way. These things did not have the shade under. So when you shade under, your hook zones are going to be playing very aggressive to the hard flats too. How do you change that up? Let's maybe I can rehook them. Oh, sorry, re. How do you rehook this guy? Oh, vertical hook. All right. So basically, all right, shade under to hard flat, and then let's rehook them and see if they play any different here. Nope, still shaded down, which leaves that guy open. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maybe you could shade up that person individual. All right, so shade down, hard flat. This guy, individual adjustment. Dang, I actually don't know. What what what, what do we want to do? Triangle individual r1 shade right no i oh man i don't know yeah I, I i really don't know how to how to make it play better yeah it's still it's still uh the hook zone's got aggressive you need to put your hook zone basically all that I'm seeing, I don't know if you can make it on the field. You have to go into your, your you have to go into your coach adjustments during game and put your hook zones on five or ten yards, and then they'll ver then they'll drop back. Um, that's that's the only way I can figure out right now. Maybe people will be able to figure a way out to make it uh, adjust it on the field, but that's all you can really do is coach adjustment for your hook zone to make it drop back to where you want if you shade underneath to make your your flat zones play. Otherwise, you can put your your flat zones in a in a zero and they'll play pretty similar. They'll just run down to zero yards. All right. Man coverage alignments slash matchups. Improvement man defender motion logic. So man defenders will probably follow the line when the receiver motions across the formation. That's good. So now man coverage is not going to get glitched out as much. Uh, There's an incorrect swap. There's the man motion glitch from last year. That was in 22. But man wasn't run a lot in 22 on next gen at least. I I, I don't play current gen very much. Um, if if at all really, I only played like I've only played like you know a half dozen games, maybe a dozen games since launch on it. I don't like how they haven't changed the tight end delay fade on it, which was which is why I, I can't play it. All right, there it is. So man coverage got a little bit better, uh, at least less glitchy. Its overall effectiveness hasn't changed. Dynamic gameplay fixed an issue with the Colts home field advantage, failing to show the hat count visual that could be used as a run pass play tell. Wow, that's crazy. That is something I didn't hear of. That's awesome they patched it though. That's surprising I didn't hear about this. Those kind of things usually uh, circle back. Yo, the people that knew about this. Why don't you tell me it, you son of a gun? 
All right, tune into the adrenaline and factor so instead of infinite stamina, now reduce the rate of stamina drain. Basically, what I don't know if you guys saw the um, I don't know if you saw the highlight of that one person who got the infinite stamina and just ran around the backfield with like escape bars with their quarterback and nobody on defense was able to touch them. It looked it looked insane, and so they had to change that M factor from infinite to the stamina drain thing, which I think is a fair change. I just hope they get rid of N factors altogether. I really hate home field advantage stuff and just any sort of field advantage stuff. Fixed an issue causing a logo to appear over players' heads instead of question mark for specific M factors. Fixed an issue sometimes causing the shook player to remain on the field after the snap. Thank you. Thank you. Just get rid of M factors, please. It was an awful addition. Make better gameplay distance going forward. They fixed some play art stuff. Um, yeah, I'm not going to go over it too much. Good. QB contained. This is huge. Absolutely huge. Tune into QB contain behavior so the defenders will get more depth off the snap. Tune into open up disengage angles to allow contained defenders to anticipate giving off blocks more quickly to react to QBs driving back too far behind the line of scrimmage. This is absolutely mega large. Um, and we need to look at. Uh, I, I want to show you this thing. This is from a one of the gameplay guys at EA, uh, Mole. He put out this thing. Contains plus QB drop back pre-title update. So it's pre versus post-title update. Roll out the pocket. Easily get around the edge. Easily. Okay? All right, that's pre-title update. You saw a lot of people like that would just roll around and, 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 and beat your uh, contains. Now here is post-title update. And now we drop back too far. They just get like... Previously, like, if you drop back too far, they wouldn't disengage still. You could keep doing this. But now, he's getting chased, and now he got tackled. So there it is. And then here are the patch notes. So hopefully, it definitely acts like that going forward. Uh, kind of a big deal. Contains were awful. So I'm glad they got looked at that patch. It was my number one uh, issue with the game that were contains. Number one issue. And so I'm super excited that they took a look at it and uh, helped patch it. Okay. Tackling is next. Fix an issue. Rearish prevented QB, QB slide from being ruled down. Fix a rear issue that would allow a defender warp off the ground, a diving tackle, and a standing warp tackle. I've seen that. I've called them the Undertaker tackles. So uh, they, they said they fixed it. Fix the block issue. Prevented a running back from picking up an edge rush for his nickel 3 5 wide flip. Here's the thing. Master Gamer put out a thing saying uh, they didn't really patch it. It could still happen. Um, so I I guess we'll see. I don't think nickel 3 5 wide is dead at all. I think you'll still see that as the majority of the meta we are some say we're i am seeing a lot of people switch to my 245 odd i will say um i i, I say it's like my 245 odd but i don't want to like i hate claiming shit because people get their panties in a bundle uh but i've been running 245 odd and a lot of people are following my lead we'll say address an issue where qbs would be able to scramble deep in the offensive backfield full speed until they found an angle to get around pass rushers all right good good frick frick them frick them frick them hard here on youtube we frick them because we can't fuck them. Ah, oh, shoot. Demonetized. QB will start to fatigue faster and slow down when trying to scramble 15 yards behind the line of scrimmage. This reflects a realistic amount of effort and energy. Like, they didn't... Okay. This was stupid. You don't have to talk to us about realism. It's it's Madden. All right? Don't, this... this I'm, I'm cringe and this is 12. Okay? Don't. We didn't need... I don't need... Uh, you just... You just... Seriously bring in critiques of yourself. Stop saying realism. It's video game balance, right? Is it realistic that I can see the defensive play art and play from a third-person omniscient view of the field and then make passes with my quarterback? Is it realistic that there's some sort of Charles Xavier type link between me and my tight end for tight end delay fades that I can release him exactly when I want him to? No. By the way, tight end delay fades still need to be patched. Uh, stop. Don't do this. Not needed. Don't care. Fix an issue causing players sometimes instead of the second half of the game extremely fatigued. Oh, one thing they didn't patch here, the biggest thing, is RPO glitches. They said there's an emergency patch out. I really hope EA knows that it's not just RPO bubbles. Wide receiver screens are the same thing. Wide receiver screens and other things you can do with your quarterback the same way. So if they just, in their emergency patch, whenever it's coming, just pitch, patch the RPO bubble, I'll be, I'll be super angry, right? Because the same thing... Oh, wait, wait, what was I in? It doesn't matter. The same thing happens here 
on wide receiver screens. Right? Whoa. All right, that was the wrong wide receiver screen. That's the other one. I also have Tom Brady on Escape Artist. Escape Artist quarterbacks are much better for this. Is it the gun? Dang it. Do you see how I was dropping back? So it's still there. It's still there where like everybody drops back when the quarterback scrambles. They're still dropping back. It's still going to be a problem with escape artist quarterbacks. I got Tom Brady out here gaining 10 yards of rip off of it. So what are other, other guys going to do? So anyway, once they see the lineman go down the field, the, the guys should attack the quarterback. I really hope they patch that too. I really hope they don't forget about wide receiver screens when they'll take care of the, the RPO stuff. Um, fix an issue causing players sometimes start the second half extremely fatigued, getting stuck on touchbacks during kickoffs. Sideline characters sometimes warp or pop randomly. Dead eye abilities triggering the wrong. Like I don't think dead eye abilities should be in this game. I will I will continue to say that until the end. Dead eye abilities don't belong in Madden. You should be able to be punished for making for becoming a like a, a quarterback running around with the chicken with the head and then throw it across your body and it's like dead accurate. It's awful. It's terrible gameplay. Get rid of dead eyes. This is what dead eyes do. Um, or get rid of the roaming dead eyes and, and uh, dashing dead eyes. Anything that triggers on the run. And then maybe I can forgive passing in the pocket dead eyes and stuff. Those are fine. A little less of a problem. But the, it's, the, it's the scrambling dead eyes that are the big problem. Make people make decisions and have risks versus rewards. Instead of all rewards, no risks. I will say um, this one. Tuning to an accurate pass to make pass more inaccurate when the crew has scrambled 15 yards more behind the line of scrimmage. This is all negated by dead eyes, right? This this is basically nothing if they got a dead eye on. I, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. That's why I hate dead eyes. Um, they try and patch something, but they're not patching the dead eyes. Um, yeah. OPI is penalties gone. I don't like I think DPI is kind of an issue right now. I've got I've got some defensive pass interferences. I'm like, I was just like hitting triangle to go for the ball and it gave me a pass interference. Fix the rare issue that could result in the referee saying a call has been reviewed. Okay, whatever. Franchise update, new scouting update available. Um, there's a huge uh, scouting update, gridiron, deep dive. I think we've gone into that before in a previous video. Uh, but I'm not really into franchise at the moment. Maybe I'll take a look at it today and stream the scouting update and stuff. I know Bengal did a video on it. You can go check out his channel and everything. He's more of a franchise YouTuber. Um, but yeah, franchise updates. Face of the franchise is still getting too many updates. The only bullet point I ever want to see on the face of the franchise is we've done away with the game mode. That will be a pop of champagne bottle, kiss a, a random nurse in 1945 on the street type of moment, all right? that That's basically VJ Day, okay? If they get rid of face of the franchise, that's VJ Day for Madden. Please, EA, make it happen. Make us kiss random nurses in 1945. The Yard, ranked has been added. The Yard is completely doing the wrong thing here. I, I don't know. It's so freaking easy, in my opinion. Let's check this out. Yard ranked. Quit. Get me out of this. So yard ranked. The yard only needs two changes. Get rid of all the AI and like the, the multiplayer head to head, right? 3v3 should not be your main mode in the yard. It should be 5v5, 6v6. And 3v3 should just be three players out there. There should not be AI on the field in these yard modes, okay? The second is your RPG elements suck. You need to add more depth to the RPG elements of the yard. That's all you need to change. Ranked, who cares? Who cares? Those two things, and all of a sudden your yard is, is, is a contender with 2K, right? Why can I not unlock animations? Why is it when I upgrade a, uh, upgrade a player, it chooses like three fucking stats to upgrade? Give me each individual stat upgrade so I can customize them how I want to. It's not that freaking hard. All right, ranked. Play match against other teams and climb the leaderboards each season. The ranks will be increasing your tier, TP progress. Oh, man, I hate it. That just makes me think of toilet paper. My toilet paper progress? You earn toilet paper by winning skill-based match-made match games. You can increase tier progression quicker. Like, this is this is wrong. This is wrong. I Like, I don't understand how this is so freaking hard. Edit class, edit gear. Where's my, you know, edit class? There should be like edit animation and stuff. They already got editing abilities. Like it says like increase quickness and speed. Is that is that speed and acceleration? No, it's like agility and change of direction. 
Stop putting this stuff together. Let me increase my man coverage versus my zone coverage versus my tackling versus my hit power. Don't lump them. Stop. I, I I truly don't understand. They li they literally see their competitor in 2K. They copied the mode, but they couldn't copy the depth. Of the How did they miss the most important part? Blows my mind every time I look at the yard. That's why it's not popular. Presentation and user interface update. Cool. Man ID updates. All right. Man Ultra team updates. UI updates. And exploit where user is exceed the XP AP limit. All right, cool. As for current gen, basically the same updates on current gen, same new abilities. Um, pass rush QB contains franchise update face of the franchise the yard so that uh, current gen did not get nearly the gameplay updates as next gen but here's the thing it didn't need it the only update that current gen currently needs they got to patch the the RPO stuff which is coming right on next gen that didn't get patched and then tight end delay phase need to be able to be manned up that's all that's all that current gen needs. It's it's a better gameplay, except for the worst aspects of the gameplay. Tight end delay fades need that hard counter ASAP. Maybe they're waiting to fix tight end delay fades on both consoles at once. So you don't have a Charles Xavier type, like, unrealistic link between your quarterback and a tight end. It's the same reason why I don't love, like, the, the ability playmaker. It's too hard, but... Playmaker itself to tell a guy and then they kind of move slowly is more more realistic. It makes more sense that they kind of like, oh, he's telling me to go somewhere. All right, let me move up. All right, anyways. There you go. That's the update. Overall, huge, right? The franchise edition of the scouting update is more than they get in many, many years. In like 10 years of Madden, right? It's more than they've got on launches. And this gameplay change, them fine-tuning things that we've found problems with, is the way to change the gameplay. That's the best. Don't add M factors. Don't do stupid stuff like that. Give us quality of life features, right? Formation subs, custom models of the save game to game, that kind of stuff that can make us like enjoy the game more in depth gameplay wise. So please, I guess we'll see what kind of issues and in, in, in uh, glitches pop up. But uh, that's all I got to say about that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Call to action. Please like, subscribe. We're going for 100K this year. We're going to make it, boys. We're all going to make it. Take it easy.